That's like a wind. You see, it's like playing. It, it goes with the wind. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like art. Wow. What a view. <laughs> we just made it to our hotel room in Denver. Let me put y'all down real quick. Drop it low because we got a little story time that is definitely necessary. Where does this all begin? Okay, we're at the house. I'm packing my bags. You know, Shelby's kind of packing her bags too at a leisurely pace because we're planning for our original flight to leave around 6.15. At around 12 o'clock, Shelby gets a notification from United that's like, hey, your flight is going to be delayed. This delay causes us to not be able to make our second flight in Denver to get to Sacramento. So immediately we're like, okay, the goal is to get to Sacramento today. And if that can't happen, then we need to find another flight. We ended up booking another flight with Frontier, which Frontier is just one of those airlines that, you know, it's a last, it's, it's a last case scenario where you're booking Frontier. <laughs> but we booked with Frontier. We're leaving the house at like 105. I was like, it's gonna be close. But hopefully we are able to make it happen. We hop in the freaking lift and surely this dude is gonna, cause we're kind of expressing to this guy. I hey. told him we were running late. Yeah. I told him. Shelby's like, we're running late and we're just trying to make this as quick as possible without pressuring the guy too much, but like, can you step on it without saying, can you step on it? This guy, kid you not, we get in this car and he proceeds to drive so slow that cars are passing him on the left, cars are passing him on the right, and then we get, we hit traffic. It's like everything is going against us at this point. Like everything that could go wrong is going wrong. But we end up still making it to the airport with about 45 minutes to spare and we have to check a bag and we don't have tickets. so we run up to like check the bag and get tickets and we're talking to the lady and she's like I know that you paid to check your bag but we're no longer checking bags for this flight so I paid to check a bag but now you're not checking bags I said what are my options she said well if you know someone here you can give it to them yeah, that really helps me. Thank you. Yeah, and it's like, so we have to sit there and go, we brought our bag to the airport because we want to take it with us. We also prepaid to take it with us. Yeah, so that's not an option, lady. Like, we're not leaving our bag with someone in San Antonio. So we waste a good five minutes talking to this lady. And then she goes, okay, well, we never really resolved that, but she was still to the point where she goes, I'll let you all go back there. Let me print your ticket. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense, but sure. She goes to print our tickets and she goes, since you all are here within 45 minutes of the flight, like taking off, we are not allowed to let you back there. Not allowed to let us back there. We were there with 45 minutes to spare, but talking to her for five minutes put us within like the 40 minute range. And so she ended up being like, you cannot board this flight. Like I'm not letting you back there. I can't print the tickets, call the help number. We go to call the help number. Shelby is already like at her breaking point. She's the one actually doing the conversing and they're on the phone telling her that she can't get a refund even as Shelby's explaining all the circumstances and Shelby just has a breakdown and starts crying like just starts crying crying and I'm like OMG. So what makes this even worse is because we thought we were gonna make this Frontier flight, we ended up canceling our other flight. Now we're sitting here at the airport with our canceled flight and then we're arguing with Frontier trying to figure out what's going on and now we have no flights to get anywhere. We're just sitting at the airport. So what Shelby ended up doing, we, we had to hop on our computers, do some research. She ended up rebooking our first flight which is like okay now we have a flight at least to Denver not to Sacramento I fought with customer service on United's end it's getting close to 8 which is when we're supposed to board the flight finally and Madison just went to go talk to them to see if we can get a hotel because we're gonna be stranded in Denver overnight she went to talk to them because I have an impacted wisdom tooth and it's really killing me try and reinstate our first flight and cancel our second flight because we got double booked and it was a total mess United still wasn't gonna be able to get us to Sacramento but they were able to get us to Denver. And now the only option to get us where we need to go, which is Sacramento in a reasonable time for us to like have the day left is catching a red eye at like five o'clock in the 
freaking morning to get to Sacramento. We're gonna be totally exhausted. I think I'm gonna try and actually get some sleep, even though I'm probably not gonna sleep well because I have sleep anxiety. I don't really have any other kind of anxiety. Nothing really makes me anxious. But when I know I have to get up early for something, I cannot sleep. Like it used to happen to me all the time in college with 8 a.m. So I just could not sleep. But I think Shelby's strategy might be to stay up through the night because Shelby's a night owl. And basically by the time that she would be going to sleep she'd be having to wake up to catch this flight so that's the full spiel i don't want to talk you all's ear off and i'm super tired but i just wanted to update you all so that you all know just how crazy this day has been we've been at the airport like all day like from 1 30 like just getting at our hotel at freaking 10 40 and the other crappy part is like that's nine hours <laughs> we could have drove to denver i don't know if we could have drove in nine hours but the flight was only like an hour and a half i'm just very i'm very sad right now and also hungry but hopefully tomorrow will be better the worst comes to worst we'll get to where we're staying tomorrow night but do the less active part of the activity mm -hmm. and then the next day we can actually do the activity okay i'll say this one last thing and then i gotta like eat and sleep or at least try to sleep. Shelby also is the person in a relationship who does well with less sleep. And I just know that tomorrow is going to be hard for me. Like, really hard. And I don't really drink caffeine to like get up and go. So I have nothing. Nothing does that for me. That's where we're at, folks. I guess we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Check her bag, that's right, that's right. Sunny, sunny California. I was gonna say California, Texas because I'm used to saying San Antonio, Texas, but we are not in Texas anymore, as you can see. We got this nice sporty little hatchback Honda, so we are ready to hatchback? hit the road and yeah, it only has two doors. That's my hatchback, that's a coupe. <laughs> We got we got a sporty little coupe then, so we're ready to hit the road and take off. We got about what two hours to Tahoe. A sunroof. Oh, Shelby's pumped about the sunroof, as you could see there. We got two hours to Tahoe. Uh, we're going to REI first, and then I think it's like two hours, two yes. two and a half, something like that. Yes, yes, yes. We have to pick up some stuff for Shelby from REI, and then we're ready to hit the road. It is currently like 9:30, and as you know, we've been up since 4 a.m. Last night, I was like, mm, should I stay up all night? Should I not? And I ended up going to sleep at like two o'clock. So I'm running on two hours of sleep right now. Feeling kind of like crap. You really feel bad? Yes, my face is just you like- You know it, you're doing it. You're getting it done. I'm trying, I'm trying. Shelby is just over there thriving because she's used to thriving on like no sleep. Oh my God, the seatbelt is full. I know. <laughs> Just wanted to let y'all know we made it safely. So far today is going a lot better than it did yesterday, minus some fatigue. I'm very excited to finally be in Sacramento and almost to one of our destinations. Ready? Yep. Oh my goodness, look at that. We fly in first class out on the roads. Not Madison trying hokas around two. Warren once didn't like the original price, 160. Garage sale, 86 dollars. Not bad. So when we were in line over there earlier, someone was also returning hoka shoes. If you guys remember, Madison returned hers that she bought a couple weeks ago. I did for the same reason. So that's weird. He was talking to them, and I was like, mm. <laughs> he's like, yeah, it just didn't quite fit right. And I'm like, there's a conspiracy now. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Madison's in love with the shoe section. I love shoes. I hardly ever buy any, but I love to look at some. Look at them. 
also, I'll talk about this a little bit more when we get in the car, but uh, in general, we love REI. You guys have probably seen us shop here a couple times before, but just in general, love the brand, been a member for like eight years. They now have a garage sale section in their store all the time, which means they're selling their returns over here at a discounted price, which we love. And they also have like a returns program, which they resell in the store. So that's what we're shopping in right now, the garage sale section. Yeah. All this right here. Oh, and I think all those sleeping bags might be. Here. Oh my god, these shoes for a giant. They look huge. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Welcome to Lake Tahoe Resorts Hotel. What a spectacular, cozy little room. It's so nice to be at Lake Tahoe and see everybody in their ski gear and see how lively this area is. It's super nice. Just wanted to give you all a quick room tour. Here's what we're working with. We got the little like sitting kitchen area slash like TV room. The sink is outside of the bathroom. And then we also have a nice little uh, microwave situation. There's the pooper. I know you all love the word pooper so much. Oh, and then who do we have here? That's all we get. It's Shelby. Listen, wait, oh, well, listen, they, wait. They don't know about my situation yet, right? I don't think so. Uh, okay, I'll tell you in a minute. Madison's on a roll, and then I'll check in with you. I was on a roll, but this is the last step of just uh, basically our room. Nothing too too snazzy, right? We got this place more for the location, location, location. Okay. But just a little bed here, Shelby's butt, and TV situation. Hey, that's me. And look at this. We can literally see people sledding down this hill outside. There's the people from our freaking window, like how cool. I guess you all kind of know why we're here now. We're obviously gonna be doing some kind of uh, winter activities. I don't think we've said what we're doing yet. I mean, you all have to stay tuned. I'm gonna keep it a surprise. We could be doing a little tubing. Are we gonna snowboard? Are we gonna, who knows? Stay tuned. Shelby has a little update for y'all cause she's got a lot of issues that have been kind of going on since we've been on this trip. She's been a trooper, but has been dealing with some unfortunate events for sure. Okay, let's combine the bad thing with a good thing, right? Because I did a little bit of, maybe it's retail therapy. Really, it's more for my job because I needed to get this stuff because that's the exciting news. Let me just grab the three things I bought so that I can show you. Let's do bad news first since that's the order that things happened in. So, your girl has anxiety. This we know. That's nothing new. We know Shelby has anxiety. What you might not know about me is I have extreme dental anxiety specifically. The last couple times I've even gotten my teeth cleaned, Lisa's a dental hygienist if you guys know Lisa, and she's the only person I will let clean my teeth, but also when I go to get my teeth cleaned, I have to have injections in my mouth, and I also have to have gas to get my teeth cleaned, and even then, you know they take your blood pressure before you're supposed to get work done? Literally my cousin was like, your blood pressure is so high right now, I should not be working on you. Like, I don't know what it is about the dentist, but I just, it freaks me the fuck out. Naturally, I still have my wisdom teeth in my mouth <laughs> at 29 years old. And every, I don't know, like few months, it flares up. And basically like, I guess the teeth are coming in, obviously at the angle that they do and impacting my other teeth, which is just like causing a lot of tension and sometimes swelling. Normally it only lasts for like a few days, maybe a week and then it goes away. This time it's just really impacted, like, I can't eat. We stopped on the way up here, got Panera because it's the only thing I can eat. And I had a smoothie like yesterday for dinner. It really sucks. I'm taking a lot of ibuprofen right now. We stopped and got some Aura Gel. It's, it's a whole mess. I'm lispy a little bit because I can't close my mouth to make some sounds. So if I sound weird, that's why. Okay, this is the exciting part. This is so fucking exciting. I cried when I got this news. 
I've been an REI co-op member for eight years and have been a huge fan of the brand for just so long for all of their sustainability stuff, but also like the ethics and the mission and like all the things behind REI are just incredible. And I have posted every Black Friday for the last, I think, four or five years for Opt Outside because REI is the, they're the brand who started the movement to be closed on Black Friday instead of like opting into all this these fucking sales. And I just think that's incredible. So I've posted for free every year for REI. REI. So when I got the email that was like, we want to work with you, I cried. I freaked out. So that's why we had to stop by REI because this jacket is one of the things that they actually wanted to send me because of our partnership. Like there's like this pack that comes along with the partnership and this was one of the things, but they didn't have my size in my REI by the house. And I was like, well, I'm going on a ski trip this weekend and I kind of need this for that. So I'll just stop at the one in Sacramento and, and pick it up. So that's why we had to go by there. This is not sponsored. The, the sponsorship with them is on Instagram. So this is just me being fucking pump we stopped and got this so that i have it when we go skiing and it's fair trade and made of recycled materials you know and i don't have a jacket like this i was very excited about that i got this shirt because all the profits from these shirts go to conservation so i feel like i pick up sleep t-shirt when i'm not home like quite often and then this i thought was really cool if you guys haven't heard of this this is a line by urban native era and it's the first like native brand i believe to be in rei and it's just really cool because i've been getting more and more into indigenous people and just like how fucked up a lot of the things that happened to them are but more specifically like that we just stole land from them it just like when you really think about the history of it it's pretty crazy and so i've been trying to incorporate more indigenous wisdom and like just informing my opinions and my stances like kind of with their practices in mind so when i saw this at rei because i had been seeing it on social media i had to pick it up it's just a hat which lord knows shelby needs more hats because i'm always getting sunburned but that's it not like a spree, but for me, a spree, because I feel like I never buy things new. But just to reward myself for getting through the last few days of insane travel, no sleep, and like a life-altering toothache. I will go get my wisdom teeth out when we get back. My cousin is already talking to her boss about it. <laughs> There she is. She's ready to hit the mountain tomorrow. How do you feel about your first time skiing? Nervous. He said, you will fall. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be prepared. Hopefully it's a lot of fun. You look like a, like a ski bro. <laughs> believe how many dude what tell me this is not crazy wow, dude. hey that's a hack though the next time you're around, like, it might even be cheaper to buy this than to rent them let me see oh, oh. you do it for like three days four days yeah sure. you Damn. Really buy the stuff bring it back and still like save money yeah Wow. Oh! These are hard to get on. Yep. Yep. Let's get the camera back. Yep. Back, back, back. I'm hot. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm hot. <laughs> Get out of the snow! Help! I can't breathe. Stop! Oh, stop! Oh, get over here! <laughs> get in there! Y'all, ski boots are intense. Oh. Soulmate socks, probably not the best thing to wear, but for the most part, we're using what we already had at home. Yeah, we don't have... Apart from this jacket. <laughs> Here, just chilling around at home. Is this loose? Like it's supposed to be? This jacket though was a score I thrifted in New York for Madison. Um, Ow! This is a rain jacket because it rains in Texas. And then I just put it a couple layers underneath here. And I actually bought these from Goodwill in Texas. They were like six bucks like a while ago and they've just been in the closet for the right opportunity. <laughs> Which is now. The time is now. But I'm hot. <laughs> but I'm hot. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna get out of here. Stand up and fall over. <laughs> I said, 
I look like the abominable snowman. And I said, hi ho, coming to you from the hotel book. <laughs> I think we are just about ready. Shelby has her boots on. Somehow I managed to get suited up as well. Look at this helmet. Now the fun, you just can't walk in these like, <laughs> your foot's not able to bend. So we're just like, struggling. I wonder if it's worth bringing our, our thin shoes in your backpack. Like if we want to take a lunch break or like when we're done, like. You take a lunch break in the boots. If we want to walk around the lodge things that are up there. All right, maybe. We're about to head out the door now. Wish us the best of luck today. This is only my second time skiing, and this is <laughs> Shelby is falling over with the gear. I was talking and she started going. <laughs> Uh, like I was saying, this is my second time skiing and this is Shelby's very first time, so wish us luck, guys. There Shelby goes. She's got a little fancy walk going. What is it? This is how bad is it doing? That's how you gotta do it. <laughs> we, we're never gonna make it outside at this rate. Come on, what you got? Why are you walking so smooth? <laughs> you got it? <laughs> oh, hey, if you're gonna do that, then you gotta do this. Oh, babe, look, see, his goes all the way back here. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's nice. Is, I love these. <laughs> I was just and telling her I want one. And now, now you can lift it up. That way you don't have to go through my dirty windshield. Wow, we are riding in style. <laughs> I'll hold it straight. She's got it like crooked. Well, that's what filters are for, right? Continue shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. You're gonna have to shuffle a little faster than that. Up here to this red line. Whoops. Sorry, babe. I love you. Y'all, let me tell you what Madison just did and why she's not here on this lift with me for my first ski lift ever that I'm kind of terrified. Oh, the lake. Okay, I'm trying not to talk to her because number one, she held up the line because she left her ski card in her wallet instead of getting it out. So that's why the ones in front of me are empty. And then she didn't shuffle with me to get onto the ski lift. So she's back there. But the view is incredible. Whoa, dude. That is crazy. <laughs> nice. Okay, you ready? I think you should go first just so if you fall, then I can like stop. No, then I can stop and I'm not like down the mountain. I'm like, where's Shelby? You gotta open the pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. <laughs> okay. You wanna tell me how it's done? Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Somebody hit me and took me out. Woo! Yeah! Keep going, babe. You're doing great. Look at her go. Look at her go. Oh, she's skiing now. She's skiing now. Oh, yeah. We did it this time, folks. Look at us. Look at the lake. You can't see it yet. <laughs> But man, it is beautiful out here. Uh oh, someone lost their snowboard. Oh, maybe she's coming to get it. How have you thought about skiing so far? Vlogging is a little scary on this ski lift. I'm not a great skier, but neither of us really anticipated that I would be. Yes. And, <laughs> and uh, but I did this part right here. Well, if you can see this part right here, it's pretty flat. I can do that. But the thing is, is that whatever, Something about me, I guess I just can't open my legs wide enough to stop myself efficiently. 
so I kind of panic. Um, Shelby tries the pizza, and her pizza is not good enough, so she keeps sliding. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to give it another try. It's all right. This is just our introductory trip, and then when we come back, we're going to be doing blues and blacks, right? No. No. Why not? Should we put this bar down? We don't have to. Sketch. <laughs> Ooh, look at her go. Oh, God. That was great. Uh, that was great until I couldn't stop. I mean, there was an obstacle there in the way to you at the dock. Oh. It's very di well, difficult. Well, it's fine because I didn't know how I was going to stop in there. <laughs> Good morning vlog. After we had a very magical experience skiing yesterday, we had to boogie to Modesto, California, which is where we're at currently, just hanging out in a comfort inn because this is the actual assignment that Shelby's gonna be doing. She's gonna be doing a brand deal with, um, what is it? Uh, Almond Board of California. Almond Board of California. We are currently getting ready for that. It has been a trip that's just been back to back, waking up super early, having really full days. We are making it. I'm gonna be definitely happy to get to the end of this trip, but I'm also excited to go hang out with some almonds for the day. <laughs> That's, you guys know what to say? I'm excited to go hang out with some almonds. I am. Just wanted to give you all a little update before we uh, head out for the day. Oh, hubba, hubba, hubba. Stop it. Look at that lady. Where are you going? Hey, we want to see you. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, falling <laughs> over. Oh my goodness, yes, honey. The almonds are going to love it. Give us a twirl. Here we have the signature, the new signature. Shelby curls with this dress I bought for a video probably three years ago when I was doing the I spent a thousand dollars on sustainable fashion bought this dress, but I really like it. This came from newly actually I'm renting it and these shoes are from Poshmark Wow, very nice. We'd love to see it. This came from the thrift store. This did as well and these shoes were a Christmas present. Yay! Yay! We just finished up at the almond farm which was really really cool and i i feel kind of bad sometimes that i have to travel for work but i also love traveling so much that i just i don't know i can't feel too bad about it i won't talk too much right now about the almond board part of this trip because that is a brand deal for instagram slash you'll hear all about like the technical science sustainability stuff in a video on my main channel but i did just want to catch you up that that's what we were just doing the people we got to hang out with were incredible i feel like i had this stereotypical thought in my head Head of like what a farmer is and what they sound like and what their personality is and like all that kind of stuff but then every farmer I've met over the last couple years because I'm so interested in sustainability around food every farmer I've met has been so cool like you guys remember Robert when we were in Vermont so cool just now Kiku she's like a fourth generation almond farmer and that's so cool and then we met Christine who's also a farmer for the last like 25 years and like just so progressive and into sustainability and like really cares about managing things properly and I just feel like I've learned so much today and it was so much fun. And you guys know us, we turn a trip that's meant for one thing into as many things as we can, just because I feel like if I am gonna fly, like I should make it worth the emissions, like I should pack as much into it as I can. And this is a really short trip for us. I'm sure you guys have watched. If you watch a vlog channel, you know that anytime we fly, we try to make it like a huge thing. I'm sorry about my lisp if you hear it again the tooth thing but we try to pack as much as we can just because like to make the emissions worth it in my opinion and so we obviously did the tahoe thing and we did the almond thing which is what we we're here for and now we're gonna go to san jose and that's where i did my americorps service term if you didn't know that and i'm just really excited to go back and see what it looks like what has changed and what hasn't but more specifically my favorite flower is hummingbird sage and the nursery at the place i used to work for for americorps they grow it and i also know that there is a nature preserve where they 
they grow it and so I'm just really hoping I can go and see it and it might be a little early for it to be in bloom but I'm hoping we can see a little bit of it that's the next mission Madison is in the gas station right now going to the bathroom so she's not here with me but when she gets back maybe we'll just see you in San Jose favorite flower called hummingbird sage at least that's what we called it when I worked here I don't remember what the real name for it is but we just walked all around couldn't find it and I saw these little flowers which is actually what the buds look like and I remember the leaves were big like this and it smells like heaven not enough for me to take even a single bud home but I'm still happy to know that it's here not dead like I was thinking so before we leave I actually want to get a proper plant ID on this because I always call it hummingbird sage but I need to know like the technical name for it. So I have this app, what is this one called? It's worked usually for me and you want to try to get not just the leaves but this bud right here will be helpful. Let's see. <gasps> it is hummingbird sage and this is the botanical name for it so from now on I will be able to know what it is. And this is what the flowers look like from it actually flowering very pretty so exciting hi baby little key There he goes. Oh, baby! <laughs> Are you okay? I love you. Home sweet home. It feels so good to be back after a very, very long slash short trip. <laughs> we are home. We are back in Casa de Shelby in Madison. Guys, I'm exhausted, so I'm honestly just going to end it right here, and we will catch you all next Saturday. Catch you later, Madelvies.